So this is part of the Covalis Albany or Albany Covalis bike trail that Benton County has been working on for quite some time. This is the Corvallis uh, end of it. It starts on Conifer Boulevard and goes uh, eastward for I would say maybe, uh, I don't know, a third of a mile or so and then it stops at a, uh, at a farmer's field marked by a, uh, a sign that I think used to be a warning sign not to uh, trespass beyond that point. I wanted to show you this path just to get you and I give you an idea of what it would look like. It's about uh, 10 feet wide, paved with asphalt, and uh, in parts here, because it's not used at all, it doesn't go anywhere, in parts it is uh, very much overgrown with um, blackberry vines. Those, of course, are deadly on bike tires, so you have to be careful if you want to explore this little stub of a bike trail. But in any case, uh, Benton County, as you may have read or you will read on the, the rest of this uh, uh, post on my uh, website, is trying to accelerate the construction of the rest of this bike path from here to uh, Albany. Uh, the uh, the, fund, uh, the uh, section or the segment from Independence Highway to Spring Hill Drive has been funded uh, by the state under a Connect Oregon grant, uh, but the section from here, that is from east of uh, Cheltenham Middle School and east of Manchester Street to uh, Independence Highway, I would guess about five miles or so, maybe four, uh, has not been funded. So it, um, it looks like it's going to be a very long time before anybody can actually use this part of the path, except for little excursions, excursions I should say, as I was just doing. I'm Hasso Herring, and of course this is HH Today.